Good morning. My name is Marie Mushing, and you're watching People in Connection TV. Well, here we are, almost the end of February, so, you know, we've got a brand new month starting, the month of March. The beginning of spring is coming up pretty soon, so over the next month, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about different things, about your spring cleaning, about getting yourself organized, your business, um, your website, all of these wonderful things that we're going to do as spring approaches. So, we have a great show today. We have Julie Stobie from Mind Over Clutter in the studio today, and we have a special guest, Ephraim Myrie, uh, from Empower Consulting Group is also in the studio today. And so, let's get on, because we have a busy schedule ahead of us. First thing we're going to talk about, of course, is our events at People in Connection. Uh, we have some events in the Niagara region. We have the Art from the Heart Adventure. It's a one-day workshop run by Carolyn Shannon, and that's on the 6th of March. So Pada Designs Jewelry has their spring collection preview coming up, and that's also on March the 6th. And then there's the Business Tips Breakfast, and that's through the Women Who Excel group out of Burlington. And that is on March the 8th. So a lot of great events happening in the region. If you can make it out to them, some business, some fun. So and also always great for a good time. Anyways, our first guest this morning is Evelyn Myrie. And Evelyn has the Empower uh, Consulting Group. And today we're going to talk about International Women's Day. Welcome, yes. Evelyn. Nice oh, to have you Marie. in the studio today. Yes, thank That's you. And, and things are going well? Oh, things are going great. It's an exciting year, Marie, because mm -hmm. uh, in 1911 the first uh, International Women's Day was held. And I couldn't believe it's a hundred years wow. already. You know, I mean, I wasn't there at the beginning, <laughs> but hey, exactly. people like Clara Zetkin, who's a German a politician, who mm -hmm. made the um, the motion at the International Women's Conference in mm -hmm. 1910 in Copenhagen to have a day set aside to celebrate women's achievements and mm -hmm. to encourage women to uh, to be, become more empowered. And yeah. this year. You know, 100 years later, we are celebrating across the world. So Canada is on. Isn't that uh, wonderful? Yeah. Can you imagine how different that would have been in that, those days? Oh, yes. You know. you know, it was only 1909 that we were declared persons in Canada. Yeah. So it was an exciting time. Yeah. It was pioneering time. The, you know, the famous five, the woman who who gave us a lot today, mm -hmm. Canadian woman, who, um, yes. Nellie McClug, one of my favorites, who certainly fought for women's rights and you know, we've come a long way. Yes. So, and there's so much more to do. And uh, so, this part of this year's uh, anniversary is in Hamilton. We are mm -hmm. very much involved in various ways in women's equality. Mm -hmm. And uh, Empower Consulting uh, is putting on this um, showcase, a fun evening. Mm -hmm. Fun. Yeah. It's not any political <laughs> commentating. It's right. a fun evening of entertainment mm -hmm. uh, called Singing Her Praises, Celebrating Women. And that's going to take place, as you know, Marie, on March 11th at Michelangelo's. Yes, that's going to be a wonderful event. Yes, yes. yes. I'm looking forward to it. You had lots of uh, mm -hmm. excitement. People are calling the office, trying to get tables of 10 for them, you know, for themselves. It's, oh, um, yeah. uh, we invite men, you know, yes. it's open to all. But all my male friends tend to say, oh, I'll buy a ticket and give it to a woman. I don't think I want it. It's, it's <laughs> a woman thing. I said, no, it's all of us should be there celebrating. So I just suspect yes. that we'll have a great number of female coming, but men should know that they are welcome to be a part mm -hmm. of that celebration. But I just warn them, I warn my, my friends that it's, you know, it's not about you, we want you to support it, but it's going to be a night that's celebrating yeah. women, and, and I'm sure you're okay with that. So, Well, well of course, of yeah. course. And you, you know, and you find, you know, there are uh, events that are primarily women's events that men are invited, and you always sure. find there will always be a couple that will... Oh, yeah. Brave it in the head of the boat. They have no problem with a room full of women. <laughs> that should be fun, right? <laughs> and should, yeah, and it's great for them. Yes, and they do. Yes. They always have a wonderful time. They really enjoy themselves. Yes, these events. Yes. Um, so, so your theme is equality. Now, this is an international theme, I understand. Yes, but this year, the theme all over the world, each country set their mm -hmm. own theme. Yes. But one of the challenges here is that they're asking countries. It's almost like a little competition going on. Which uh, what countries are doing? So, for example, mm -hmm. in Canada, we have so far registered over a hundred events all across, and in mm -hmm. Hamilton, there are about six or so events already uh, registered. Oh, so, and in, in in Britain, they were so ahead; they had hundreds of, of events registered. So, mm -hmm. more and more Canadian organizations and groups and communities are registering their events March eighth. The the actual date is March eighth. 
-hmm. but in the last few years, and right. the government of Canada has declared International Women's Week. So oh. many things are happening oh, on the date and also at, at the end of that week. And our event is mm -hmm. basically at the end of the week, which is a yeah. Friday evening. Well, of course, and, yeah. and that's a great time so to have a gathering. Yeah. Exactly. So it's a it's an international theme around equality. And trying to, you know, sometimes we think that we arrived here and everything was just the way it is. But mm -hmm. there are people who have made, um, you know, step ahead who have, I, I say it this way, if I stand tall, mm -hmm. I'm standing on the shoulders of those who have come before me. So it's not, I didn't, I, you know, the fact that I'm a female, I, could, I have the right to vote, I have the right to participate uh, in society on an equal footing, it wasn't just there when, you know, mm -hmm. when my ancestors and yours exactly. female who f and, and male and female who fought to ensure that women were declared persons, that mm -hmm. we can achieve equality, even though we still have a way to go in certain areas, right. but we have to take time to basically reflect mm -hmm. and to thank those women exactly. who put themselves forward, right? Exactly. It wasn't easy to do. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And of, of course it wasn't easy. And, you know, you say they went through quite the challenge in yeah. being, getting to those stages of being recognized, of having the equality. And, and let's face it, we still fight for that in Absolutely. a lot of different areas, yeah, yeah. Uh, especially in business, yeah. that women aren't getting equality as far as maybe pay amounts right. for you know, doing the same job as a man. So I still think we got a ways to go, but I think you know, we've come so far and we have so many things that we are thankful right, for right. and singing her praises is such a wonderful way to celebrate. Yes, and it's the idea of singing yes. the praises of those women among us daily yeah. who are making a difference. I, I even like to call it as celebrating ordinary women doing extraordinary things. Mm -hmm. So singing your praises of, is a platform where we will showcase. So after the event on March 11th, mm -hmm. we'll be showcasing women across the region who are making a difference in their way in our communities. Okay. So we'll be doing that on a regular basis along with some workshops, yep. empowering mm -hmm. and coaching workshops for helping women to really uh, achieve their goals. Yeah. Uh, we want to inspire them mm -hmm. uh, to, um, you know, to achieve the goals that they set exactly. themselves. Exactly. And I think that's also be very good, especially for women coming and immigrating to Canada from other countries absolutely, as well, absolutely. helping them to integrate into our society right. and to realize that you know, if they didn't have those rights before, they definitely have those rights right, now. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, just to let them know also some of the, the social leveraging, mm -hmm. they may have the networks yes. they want to talk to, because one of the major issues for women is the fact that they do not have the kind of same connections that perhaps their male counterpart have, yes. you know, on the, on the golf course or calling a friend up and just uh, cutting a deal as easily as their, their male friends in right. some instances. So really helping them to connect. So your job, mm -hmm. you know, people in connection is part of the whole yes. theme of connecting people. Right. Because that's, we have such um, skills and knowledge and it's just that people do not know where to turn. Mm -hmm. So part of the empowerment piece is to provide the information mm -hmm. and the connection to women uh, so they, they could make the right choices. Exactly, that's yeah. right. So tell me about the guests that are coming on to the show. Well, we have in Hamilton, we have such wonderful performers and musicians. We have Jude Johnson who will be singing mm -hmm. along with uh, award-winning Queen C, a young woman who is really uh, sh you know, doing great things in Hamilton. She has a program called Beautiful Girls, helping okay. young girls develop their self-esteem along with being a singer and a mother to three young boys. Oh, wow. Very so good. that's really inspiring as well. Mm -hmm. And we also have um, Dee Dee LaRock, who is a veteran. She's she sang with the platters and she's been traveling yeah. for some time mm -hmm. now, but she's a more mm -hmm. mature woman who's been around singing across Canada. Mm -hmm. We want to welcome her there. She's also living in Hamilton. Mm -hmm. And we have a young woman named Michelle Tishan, who has just been recognized by the Hamilton Music Awards. So um, mm -hmm. that's another fun, fantastic performer. Okay. We also have the uh, Métis Women's Circle will be drumming. So we're going to oh, open up this yeah. event, you know, acknowledging mm -hmm. the, um, the people who first started it all in Canada. Mm -hmm. The Aboriginal mm -hmm. women will be opening up the ceremony with some drumming. Mm -hmm. And um, it may, uh, Elise Hartley was very much a wonderful woman in Hamilton. She will be there doing that along with a few other women. Mm -hmm. And also we have some spoken word artists. And uh, we have Aisha Nicholson will be dancing. She'll be a tribute song uh, to International Women's Day, and she'll be doing a modern dance. Mm -hmm. And we have, wait, just to confirm, one more person is our spoken word artist, 
who I'm still trying to negotiate or find <laughs> coming from Toronto because most well, of our artists are yes. from Hamilton. Right. But I have to go to Toronto to get our spoken word artist. I'm working on that to complete it. But it's going really well. Okay. And your MC well. for the event? No, our MC is Donna Skelly. Wonderful. So she's, yeah. uh, I was very happy to be a part of this event. Oh, that's and nice. she also knows in the media how difficult it has been for women to, you know, move up to the to the um, the ladder. Mm -hmm. So she was very much uh, a part of from the beginning. So yes, I'm in. Yeah. So I'm really excited. And the, you know, the whole city. I've not gotten a negative response yet. Yeah. You know, I, the funds that we're raising, Marie, is going for a fantastic um, cause, yeah. which is uh, gynecological cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, that's a cancer that's hardly talked about, mm -hmm. and it's as my friend described it, a silent killer of women. And in Hamilton here, we have Wellwood, mm -hmm. uh, fantastic service okay. to help women and their families cope with this uh, bad diagnosis or this diagnosis and help survivors. You know, right. mm -hmm. so we're providing uh, whatever the proceeds from the event will go to uh, Wellwood. Oh, cancer. Yes, I'm really excited about it. Jane George and also Norma Frankoff and a colleague, my colleague Renee uh, Westlar, who's also a survivor mm -hmm. of gyno cancer, is um, very much excited in helping to get the word out. And you know, we have great sponsors. The yeah. Hamilton Community News has been fantastic. Last week, mm -hmm. I looked at the paper with a full half-page ad, colored. You know, because they're sponsors, so it's really mm -hmm. getting good yep. coverage. The Hamilton Spectator. Mm -hmm will be running some ads as well. So it's a really great collaboration mm -hmm. and people coming together to say, yes, I want to be a part of this exciting event yes. of celebrating women and also raising funds for mm -hmm. a, a good cause. Exactly, yeah. and it sounds like a very exciting event. So how can people get tickets? They can call, they can go to the, the website to um, <laughs> singingherpraises.com yes. and or can call me at 905-527-5651. Mm -hmm. Our office is at 193 James Street South, mm -hmm. downtown Hamilton. Wonderful. Yes. Oh, that's great. And you know, and you, I'm sure you probably have a lot of people already registered for this. Oh, well, we have over 100 people already. That was last week. Uh -huh. So we're expecting to have 300 people there. Perfect. That's our target for yes. the first year, mm -hmm. and it's going to be an annual event. Right. You know, some kind of empowering, inspiring mm -hmm. um, platform on an annual basis. Yes. So it may not be an International Women's Day next year. It could be on another date, but mm -hmm. relates to empowering and inspiring women across the region. That's wonderful. And, the, and I understand the tickets are $45? $45. That's for a wonderful oh, price. We wanted, to keep, we, we wanted yeah. to keep it reasonable. Like, you know, mm -hmm. we know the economy is tough. We right. didn't want to go in the $85 yeah. range, even though yeah. that's the, you know, you usually that, get events yeah. like that. Right. But we were very conscious mm -hmm. of um, keeping the price down. And we've had companies, you know, wanting to sponsor tickets for women mm -hmm. uh, who may not be able yeah. to attend. You know, yeah. in Hamilton we have a uh, twenty percent. We have a very high rate of poverty. One in five. Oh yeah. You know the Code Red report as well as the Vitality That's report, right. Vitality Science from the Hamilton Community Foundation tells us that. Mm -hmm. So we were very cognizant of not making it an event that's very exclusionary. Right. Even though we still know that forty-five dollars will create a challenge for some, right. we're trying to minimize that by right. getting sponsors for some of those people. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. That's yes. wonderful. Thank you. That's great. Well, I wish you you know, all the best with your event. I'm sure it will be a wonderful success. Well, thank and you thanks for thanks so much for coming oh, in. Oh, thank you, Mary. You did a great job as an inspiring woman as well, and I really appreciate yeah. you asking me to be a part of your show. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you, thank Evelyn. You. So definitely go to the website, singingherpraises.com, or give them a call and get some more information on getting the tickets for that event. As I say, that's March the 11th up here at Michelangelo's Banquet Center, beautiful banquet center in Hamilton here. Um, so it would be great if you could make it. Our membership uh, feature this month is, yes, you can afford to be bold and ultra bold. And we have some new payment plans with people in connection. And we also are featured membership package this week is our Bold Plus package because we're finding this to be one of the most popular packages that we have right now with people in connection um, because video is becoming so important to be part of your business, part of your website. Um, so we have the, the Bold Plus package includes our basic membership which gives our, all our members uh, access to the website through their own login to add the events, the specials, the articles and business news. Um, that gets the interview, the pre, uh, I'm sorry, the profile business interview that's pre-taped to put on your website that goes on our website, gives you lots of promotion. We also put it on our YouTube website and also a three-page website with domain hosting and registration all for $700. So it is a value-packed package that you're going to get and we do keep these packages very reasonably priced 
you know, for the small business sector in the region. So if you're interested, definitely contact us at People in Connection. So my next guest this morning is Julie Stobie with her Organizing Challenges Unraveled. <laughs> good morning, Julie. Good morning. How are you today? Very good, thank you. That's good. Now, I understand Julie was telling me before the show she was doing a little skiing this past week. That's and, right. Uh, that has nothing to do with organizing. <laughs> Although we were traveling with 15 yes. people, so you had to the be meals ready. were a little bit organized. Yes, you would have to be very organized to travel with that many people to begin with. Mm -hmm. And this was like a bus trip? No, it was yeah. just four families that mm -hmm. went together. We oh, each took wonderful. our own vehicles and met at the yeah. field. Yeah. Oh, definitely. You, have, you still have to get it all organized, get everybody coordinated and everything. And you're just the person to do that. <laughs> Fortunately, there was another lady who is also just the person to do that. Oh, so perfect. I got a little rest from oh, it. Oh, that's great. That gives you the break then. Yeah. So you can do the other things that are important. So you got a great topic that we're talking about today is organizing your space. And of course, for many of us, organizing our space is a challenge at the best of times. <laughs> Wherever you are. Wherever you may be. Yes, definitely. So the word space, we like to use as an acronym, mm -hmm. sort, part with, assign a home, containerize, and equalize. Okay. And so when you're starting to organize your space, all you have to do at the beginning is just sort, because a lot of people get stopped because they think, I don't know what to keep, I don't know what to get rid of. Right. But first you have to find out what you have. Yes. So if you just start with a box for donations or, you know, sometimes you borrow those things from neighbors yes. and haven't made it back, something mm -hmm. like that, a box for those items, all your recycling and then your garbage. After that, you look at your room and you just work around it clockwise or counterclockwise, left to right, right to left, however you like to mm -hmm. do it. And um, just sort like with like. Now, every organizer says that, sort like with like. <laughs> but it just means if you have books in the room, right. put all the books mm -hmm. together, all the DVDs together, all the tools, whatever happens to be in that room. So it, when you're done sorting it, you know exactly what, how much you have right. and what it is. And you don't have to decide anything at that time except if it's yours, or if right. it's recycling, or if it's garbage. <laughs> okay, that's great. That sounds easy. I that's, can do yeah, that. That's I can do that. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and sometimes you pick something up and you think, oh, I don't need that, and so you just donate it. Like, you yeah. already know. Those are the easy steps. Right. But you would be surprised when you get all the countertops cleaned off and all mm -hmm. the corners cleaned out and everything sort of in some kind of container. Right. The room already feels better. Right, of course it does. And yeah, so but not then, not the time to stop and say, okay, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you want to get down to having uh, sort of yeah. So what now, you need. so now we have all these little piles. We have yeah. all our little piles. So now, what are we going to do with them? Well, then you have to decide what you're going to part with, and that's always the big stumbling block. Mm -hmm. Which next time I'm on this show, we'll talk about why that's so hard. But for now, it's easiest if you just ask yourself the questions that are on this screen and it says, what's the worst thing that will happen if I don't have this item? Mm -hmm. Usually you can say, oh, I could borrow it from someone else. Right. Or you might have to go get it again. Or, you know, I don't need that food processor. I can just use a knife and board. No problem. And then you'll say, if I toss it now and need it later, can I get it? And that's a big question that people ask themselves with paperwork. Because almost everything you can get online yeah. All your bills, everything. Yes. So if you decided you really needed it, mm -hmm. you can usually get it online again. Right. And then if it has tax implications or legal implications, you mm -hmm. need to take tax, keep tax papers oh, for course. seven years. Mm -hmm. And anything that's legal, mm -hmm. you need to keep. So that's an easy decision. Mm -hmm. And then will it enhance my life if I keep it? So basically, yes. do you need it and love it? Yes. If you don't need it and love it, part with mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So if you ask those if you sort of run those questions through your head mm -hmm. when you're looking at an object, you usually <laughs> can decide fairly easy. Day, yeah. go. Exactly, exactly. But they are guidelines to help. Mm -hmm. And then the A in space is assign a home. And this is just a little item about craft supplies for some people's homes. Yes. All your markers, pencils, what do you do with it? Yeah. And those all have special, not special, just um, recycled, repurposed containers. Mm -hmm. They're put in a caddy and then you can put it on any shelf. When your kids want to mm -hmm. do artwork, bring it to the table, yeah. take it away, and they're not all over this place. Yes. 
So, yes. um, but whatever the thing you have, just decide where you're going to keep it. Mm -hmm. DVDs near the stereo, books. Yeah. Where you use them, maybe near your desk, or maybe yeah. they're in your night table because you read at night. Yeah. Just decide where the best place is. Yeah. To keep and they have wonderful little organizers and things that you can put at your desk at network. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so they hold everything in a separate spot. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they've got great little car organizers for oh, the yeah. back seat. Definitely. If you have little kids, and you can put books, crayons, you know, whatever. Yeah. Back there for them. Exactly. Yeah, that's wonderful. Now, I'm not going to talk very much about containerizing. Mm -hmm. Last time I was on, I talked about shelving and okay. containers. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I just threw up those pictures just to show you that it can be any kind of container. Right. Don't get stuck that you need to go to Solutions mm -hmm. or you have to go to the Home Depot or something and get special containers. They can be anything you have around the house. It doesn't right. have to cost a lot of money. Wonderful. And then equalize. So you've mm -hmm. got all these great things, you've sorted everything, you've got them on a great box, you've got them on a great shelf, right where you use them. And then the problem is, do you need 50 extension cords? <laughs> and so true, yes. You know, so you want to look at it and say, okay, well, can I actually store this many of that item? Mm -hmm. And if you don't have the space, then start going through them. Maybe you don't need that color or that size. Mm -hmm. Or if it's clothing, maybe it doesn't even really fit. Yes. And then you want to say, if I keep it, can I keep it safely? Because mm -hmm. a lot of people have a lot of light bulbs. Yes. And they're very hard to store without breaking mm -hmm. the filament inside. Right. So you might want to donate them before they, you know, they get broken somehow. Exactly. Yeah, I'm actually finally just parted with some that we had in the cupboard that were probably 40 years old. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that. I know exactly how what that's yeah. like, yeah. And that kind of goes along with the last point mm -hmm. about can you use it before it expires. Right. So let's say you're a 40-year-old light bulb. They're probably not energy efficient. No. And so that's partly why you only want to keep what you would use because they mm -hmm. come up with more energy efficient ways. Oh, yeah. Or exactly. like maybe a new gadget. Like do you still need your old, old Walkman yes. when you're probably using your iPhone or mm -hmm. something else? And uh, so you don't want to have a lot of things because they expire or they break before you can actually use them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I just oh, want to uh, mention that I have a little booklet yeah. that you can get off my website, yes. and it's called um, Organizing Your Space. Wonderful. It's just a little step-by-step -step booklet. It asks you some questions. It helps you to plan mm -hmm. your timeline, yes. and it goes through the S-B-A-C-E. Excellent. Organizing Your now, Space. Now, this is a new one. This is in addition to your four yes. that you've all previously had. This, yes. is, this is brand new. That's right. Excellent. Okay. It just helps, helps you not get stalled on mm -hmm. one particular step of the process. Right. And mm -hmm. It kind of helps you to, with the motivation. Let's get this done. Let's get Perfect. it. Perfect. Or let's get it started. Yeah, that, let's <laughs> get it started, yeah. I, I find, and, you know, it's interesting because I find I'm very good at getting started. Yes. It's the getting done part that is a weak area for me. And I'm great at getting that first part, the sort and equalize and getting all in the different containers and it's all ready to be finished. And it seems to stop. <laughs> so yeah. something like this is also is very good. And I, I you know, and I can honestly say I have Julie's first four books and I put a lot of those things into practice. And you know what? That's making a big different. <laughs> so, you know, even my husband, he kind of laughed at me at first when he saw me, you know, putting these little things <laughs> together and he's going, what are you doing? And it's like, I'm getting organized. And he kind of chuckled. <laughs> but at the same time, last month when, you know, at the beginning of the month, I went, oh, we got this birthday, this birthday, birthday, this birthday coming up. And he went, really? <laughs> so, you know, so it, you know, just some of these little things that Julie, you know, gives you in these books, you, you can't use, might not use all of them, mm -hmm. but if you can use some of those ones that you think, wow, these are really cool, and I could do this, and yeah, because yeah. there's things we know, we think, oh yeah, we'll never do that, but other things, we think, yeah, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. So, you're always going to get something out of these little books. Great. And you can just go to Julie's website, mindovercluttered.ca, mm -hmm. and you can contact her. Because she's going to, if you want, she'll come in and she'll help you with all of this. <laughs> That's right. And take you by the hand because sometimes we need that. We get a little emotional. 
Oh, yeah. Yes, about yeah. parting with some of these things. And it's really difficult unless you have somebody there that can very logically say, okay, you know, That's right. we can't keep everything. Some things have to go So, and take us through the steps. Mm -hmm. So, you know, definitely a first step is good to yeah. look at the book. Yeah. And, if, and then once you discover that you are going to need help with completing those projects or getting those projects done, definitely get in contact with Julie. Thank you. Thank you. It's great seeing you again yes. today. Thank you, Julie. Wonderful information. Mindoverclutter.ca. Uh, we have a lot of our clients that have worked with Julie uh, recently, and they're just thrilled. At, all of a sudden, their office isn't overloaded with the disorganization in the paper. They know where things are, and they're just so happy to have a clear desk and be able to do the day-to-day -day functioning without feeling that overwhelmed feeling of being thoroughly disorganized. So we have our People in Connection Spring Evening Gala event coming up, and that's on March the 7th, so that's a week from today, next Monday evening at 6.30 to, from, till 9.30, and that's at the Super 8 Hotel in Grimsby, just off Casablanca Boulevard. You can actually see it from the highway if you're coming from the Hamilton region. We have some wonderful um, guest speakers that are going to be there. Janet Barkley from Organized Assistant is going about uh, using, talking about using Twitter to grow your business. And we find a lot of people are finding or don't understand the power of Twitter and what it can do for their business. So Janet's going to give us a wonderful um, little pre presentation about that. And Don Guyberson from Dream Crafters uh, will be there as well. And he will be talking about marketing strategies that let you own the map. Don says you don't need to have just a little piece of the map. You can actually own the map if you have a good enough marketing strategy. And, you know, Don's been coming on our shows and doing his series, uh, Living the Dream. And it's fascinating. Uh, a lot of great information comes out. And I can't wait to see him speak at, at that event. And tickets are starting to sell out. So... You know, we have a limit of 50 people for the place that we have at the Super 8 Hotel. We have a bit of a trade show, so we have some of our members that will have tables at the event um, showing their products. And, you know, it's going to be a wonderful evening. Food provided by Wayne Baker from Cooking is Fun and Easy, so we'll have some wonderful munchies um, supplied by Wayne. So we're looking forward to a, an excellent night. You can come to our website and get all that information just by clicking on the link right from the front page. Now our People in Connection regular monthly events. Uh, we have six events across the region. We've actually just combined our Halton event, Burlington Oakville, into one event. And that is actually taking place tomorrow morning, March the 1st. And that is at the Symposium Restaurant. And that is in Burlington, between Walker's Line and Appleby Line, uh, just at Upper Middle and Ibatashi Way. Uh, so if you're familiar with the region. It's just like five minutes from the highway, actually probably five minutes from the 407, five minutes from the QE Toronto. Um, so definitely, you know, we'd love to have you join us for that event. Just give us a call at the office here, 905-387-1883 um, or 1-877-330-3384 or register with us through LinkedIn or Facebook and uh, we'd love to see you there. Our Niagara Falls event is Wednesday, March the 2nd and we'll be down there taping that show live. And that's a lunchtime event at 11.30 at John's Restaurant in Niagara Falls. Hamilton is Wednesday, March the 9th. That's a breakfast time event at the Bedrock Bistro. St. Catharines is also Wednesday, March the 9th. And that's, again, a lunchtime event. And we will be taping that live in St. Catharines this month as well. Ancaster is Thursday, March 17th. Brantford is Tuesday, March the 22nd. And both of those are, uh, oh, actually, Ancaster is a dinner event from 5.30 to 8.00, and, and Brantford is a morning event, and that's an early morning, actually. It starts at 7.30 in the morning. We've just completed our first two shows with Hamilton Chamber of Commerce, uh, the production of SWAT TV, and we had a great time the other night on Thursday evening. We were at the business after business event. We did the live SWAT TV show from the Augusta House, and what an amazing crowd we had. Oh, there had to be 100 people at the Augusta House, and that's a pretty great number of pieces and people. It was pretty crowded. It was loud. It was exciting. The Augusta House was a wonderful host. There was wonderful food and munchies, 
and they have a fabulous menu there as well. Um, so we did the live show there. Definitely check that out um, on the People on Connection site. We have this Watt TV page. And, you know, enjoy that, that live show. A lot of interesting guests that were on that show. And so we hope you'll join us at the next one. Uh, we'll be at the Chamber of Commerce March the 2nd. And that's for at their, live, their annual meeting. We'll be live at 6 p.m. that evening, and we have some guests from that meeting that we'll be speaking to, so we hope you'll join us then. So that's it for our show for today. We hope you've enjoyed it. As I say, our next show will be live in, in taping live in Niagara Falls, so that show will air uh, about 4 p.m. in the afternoon. And so my name is Marie Mushy, and from all of us at People in Connection TV, thanks for watching.